is green building? Green building is always be a term that confuse a lot of people because if you ask 10 people, you will get 10 different definitions. What we are going to cover today is what it means to custom builder and what it should mean to homer. But our topic today is solely on solar panel. Green building is really incorporate three major components. One is resource conservation, one is sustainability and another one is recycling. Resource conservation is we going to reduce energy consumption at our home by reducing electric consumption with implementation of solar panel so that it's like we are going to take care of energy, take care of environment basically by using fewer resources and a better renewable resources which includes water, sunlight, air, wind and so on. Now we'll explain on how solar panel works. Solar panel is a system where we can change sunlight directly to electricity using solar cell. Every day, light will hit your roof. Solar panels with photons, which is particles of sunlight. Solar panels that convert the Converts the light into electricity are called photovoltaics, which is PV. When the sunlight hits the module on a solar photovoltaics or PV installation, the module converts the sun energy into electricity that can be used to power your home. Then the electricity is being drawn from the PV installation. The electricity that produced from installation is the direct current or DC power. Then the DC power it will wire to an inverter. This inverter will convert the type of electricity produced by the panels which is called direct current or DC power into the type that power your house use which is called alternating current or AC power. Finally, the electric current then flow from the inverter to the home electrical service panel that feed electricity into the household. In my opinion, solar energy is very clean because it is causes no pollution and renewable energy source. It is also will last forever, whereas it is estimated that the world's oil reserve will last for 30 to 40 years. In the aspect of noise, solar cell make absolutely no noise at all, rather than the giant machine utilized for pumping oil, are extremely noisy and therefore very impractical. The disadvantages of solar power, of course, the cost for initial installation of solar panel can be very expensive to install, resulting in a time lag of many years for saving on energy bill to match initial investment. The electricity generation also depends entirely on a country's exposure to sunlight. In Malaysia, maybe it is could be limited by a certain month which have high rainy in that month. From architectural perspective, what is your opinion on the implementation of solar technology in green building? As architecture, uh, we do encourage installations of solar panel in the future development. Harnessing solar panel energy to generate electricity as well as to heat and cool your building is a great place to start. And solar power is a renewable and sustainable and doesn't produce any ground in greenhouse gas emission. What is your opinion about the public acceptance of solar technology in Malaysia? At many levels of societies, awareness and proper knowledge of solar energy is still a huge lack. Uh, social acceptability in, is determined by the government's decision on the power supply used to meet the growing demand for energy. Actually, many people agree that uh, government should increase subsidy on solar energy appliance so the price would become more bio-friendly. If half of the people had concern on environmental issues, this suggests that there is huge, huge potential market on solar energy. Previously, there are some development that benefit from 30% to 35% subsidy for Malaysian building integrated photovoltaic projects which fund photovoltaic systems for private building, dwellings, commercial buildings and housing development to promote solar energy. The scheme is implemented by Pusat Tenaga Malaysia.